It is estimated that there are over 210,000 people living in Australia right now with hepatitis B. 75% of these come from refugee and migrant backgrounds and Indigenous communities, and many of those remain undiagnosed. As we all recognise, there is diversity within the affected communities. This can pose some specific challenges for health professionals when working with their clients and patients. Each individual's level of health literacy, their approach to health and illness, their managing diagnosis can vary greatly. We all need to acknowledge individual differences when thinking about, talking about, screening, testing and treating people living with hepatitis B. Teachback is an effective tool to improve health literacy. The other important factor is whether organisations have the capacity to meet the needs of communities that are affected in a way that promotes interagency partnerships and integrates cultural competence and health literate practice. For people living with hepatitis B, understanding their illness is crucial to the impact on their health and their quality of life. I once had a patient who'd been on treatment for hepatitis B for two years and when it came, he came to see me, it was evident that he didn't understand the basics of the disease. We used the hepatitis B story to go over these details. And when he finished, he was so relieved because he realised he wasn't going to die of the disease. Teachback's really useful because it means that what I say to the patient, I know they've understood. And it's a way of engaging the patient in their own health. Teachback is a simple but incredibly effective method of ensuring that the communication that you are having with your client or patient is actually being received by your client or patient in the way that you intend it to be. I can think of an example where I used the Teachback method with a patient who uh, had been being seen in our clinic for some months following his diagnosis with chronic hepatitis B. Although in the medical record it was clearly apparent that discussions regarding the transmission of the hepatitis B virus had been conducted with this patient with the assistance of an interpreter, it quickly became apparent that this patient had a lot of very different ideas as to how the hepatitis B virus could be transmitted. For example, he was no longer allowed to eat with a family or share meals or drinks. Uh, he was actually moved out of the house and into a unit out the back and it had even gone so far that uh, he had a uh, washing machine bought for him so that his clothes wouldn't contaminate those of the rest of the family. It can be a fairly isolating experience to be diagnosed with a chronic communicable disease like hepatitis B. This is really compounded if in your own family unit you are ostracised and felt to be a source of potential infection. So this uh, clearly complicated the way that this man was dealing with hepatitis B from not only a social but a psychological perspective. So using Teachback, I was able to address these uh, beliefs that had been established and to systematically remove them and basically replace what he had taken on board about the transmission of hepatitis B with uh, actual information regarding the transmission of the hepatitis B virus, but just as importantly, how hepatitis B cannot be transmitted. I, with the assistance of the interpreter, then used Teachback to ensure that the messages I had given had been received in exactly the fashion that I hoped and was able to iron out any ongoing uh, misunderstandings with the patient. I also invited, and he accepted, to bring some of his family members in and, again, with the assistance of interpreter, were able to address their concerns as well. And, again, using Teachback to ensure that the family members who uh, had really uh, applied this sort of ostracisation within his family to allow them to come to an understanding that this really was not an issue and that he could be a full functioning member of the family without any concerns regarding hepatitis B transmission. This led to a substantial improvement in the patient's engagement with us uh, and also a psychological uh, approach to his new diagnosis of hepatitis B. So Teachback in this situation and in many others has been a very effective way of ensuring that the messages that I'm giving are the ones that are being received by the patient.
some water for you, Achai. Thank you. So Achai, we've talked a lot about hepatitis B and we've talked about how most people get it at birth or as a very young child. So Achai, I want to check that I've explained everything properly to you. Can you please explain to me in your own words some of the ways that you can't pass hepatitis B on to others? Yep, by sharing plates, mm. eating together, mm. holding hands mm. and hugging. Mm. And I'm going to tell my sister now that it's okay to play with their children without worry. Yes, that's great. It's perfectly safe to play with your nieces and nephews and to be affectionate with them and to share meals. So Achai, I want to check again that I've explained things properly. Can you tell me in your own words what tests or checkups you need to have? I need to have blood tests every six months to check if my liver is okay. Yes, that's right. That's very important. But we talked about some other tests as well. If someone in your family asks you what tests you need to have, what would you say to them? Oh, OK. Do I need more tests? You also need to have an ultrasound scan every six months. So I need two tests every six months? Yep, that's right. So the ultrasound scan is a type of photo and it, we look at that to see if there's any lumps on your liver. So an ultrasound to see if my liver is okay? That's it. So two tests every six months, perhaps to help you remember, perhaps one lot in winter time and then one lot in summer time. So Achai, let's just have a look at this book again. We had a look at this before and we talked about some of the things that you can do yourself at home to keep your liver well and healthy. So um, I just want to check I've explained properly. If someone in your family asked you what you can do yourself to keep well, what sort of things would you say to them? Eating plenty of healthy food, mm -hmm. um, no alcohol mm -hmm. and exercise. Mm -hmm. Good, great. 